It's 11 11. Oh, yeah. Okay, the reason I'm doing this video now um, is because I was kept thinking about what I was going to do the video about. Um, and then I had come up with something earlier, but put I did, had to end up leaving to go to the store before I got too late. And then I also had made a post when I got back on my way, um, on my way back, I like was thinking about twin flame stuff. I saw some flowers, like, uh, the whole pine fly thing came to me, looking at flowers and perfect sharing and divine design. Well, then I posted something about people having their sun's moons or their luminaries, the north and south nodes where the eclipse is happening in August. And uh, that they should contact me or write me. I had some people do that and turns out the girl that, I mean, the woman <laughs> that Dane or Dane's ex, my boyfriend, oh, I shouldn't have said his name, but well, whatever. I'm sure he'll be okay with it. She has one of her luminaries in this spot. I shouldn't go into too much personal detail anyways, but, um, it, it's, uh, this is going to prove what, kind of like what soul family is, because even though you go through bad experiences, they're there to teach you something, um, you're meant to learn. You reach like a new pinnacle or awareness of awakening, I think, and, um, they're like, Markers are thresholds that you can choose to um, live out the lower vibration of uh, your choice, your free will choice to uh, be jealous, to hate, or to hold resentment for somebody because you're not getting your way, um, you know, and, you, and you're just too stuck in you know, you wanting to have everything and like consume you, I must have everything and being greedy. Well, Dan and I, like, I love him very much and, but it didn't work out between us because, well, like, in, okay. So that was my last relationship and if you know what I went through, is kind of like a toxic one of, um, enabling the shadow sides of us, I guess you would say. Uh, and, uh, but I still unconditionally love him and want what's best for him. So I still kept talking to him just as friends because he's can't, we can't see each other face to face based on circumstances. And, uh, that's okay. I was actually going to go tell him about my health news. I was going to go visit him just to tell him about my health news and even though I am going to be okay, that I'm still, I have to put myself first. So I'm going to do that. And I was going to tell him that we should like, I don't know, just not, we should just not have any commitments to each other and stuff like that because I can't have any energetic ties that don't serve me. Well, uh, it turns out there still must be an energetic tie or to where you realize that you are you're choosing to live out the highest vibration of uh, in like in this life you know in relationships with others which are kind of a mirror of the relationship with yourself so here with Dean here I was looking at the shadow side of myself in that mirror. Now, now, uh, since his ex or whatever, they were separated, um, at the time that he and I were together, but now, um, from what I hear, she, she messaged me, and from what I hear from her, they're working on things, and instead, like, uh, before, if I was wanting to love, uh, choose to be my shadow, even if I didn't want to be with him, I would still want him to want me to be with him. Like, or, I would still want him to want me. Or, you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't, like, uh, 
kind of like you just want to have all, everything for yourself people to desire you or love you more than anybody else well not now <laughs> because now I understand unconditional love to have love for people it's you're going to unconditionally love them and help them and support them being in love even if it's without you so she asked me to look at the charts and um the fact that she did that is really it just it made me really happy and I even told her that she had inspired this video um but uh Unconditional love means that even though you can't be with somebody, that you can help somebody heal. And you can do that by healing yourself and then wanting what's best for yourself. And so, like, I am happy about that. That's what unconditional love is. And Because I don't have kids. I understand unconditional love, but I understand it on a level that's different because people have family that's unconditional love well that kind of went easy to me too I had a really good family um like they're good people inside and have perfect circumstances my child my teenage years were really rough but um now everybody's changed and so I I have a very loving family and a support system um but not everybody has that some people have their friends their relationships well unconditional love is wanting for other people what you would want for yourself even if you that person doesn't want to love you you're still going to love them back and do everything that you can to make sure that love is enhanced um that's what soul contracts are for okay uh anyways yeah love is powerful make sure you love everybody not conditionally unconditionally